So I bought myself a new car, but I have been feeling really, really sick, nauseous, driving this car around. Oh. I'm not feeling so well. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I seriously thought driving this car, I thought maybe it was motion sickness. The new car, motion sickness. I don't know, when I first stepped in the car and started driving it around, I was, um, the seat was kind of low. It was like, it was like this. And I was driving like that and I can see the top of the hood like wobble up and down a little bit. And I thought maybe as I'm driving it, this is short people problem by the way. I thought maybe when I was driving it, it was making me feel nauseous, like motion sickness. But I don't think it's that because I've hiked, I didn't realize that on the left side of the, the seat, I can jack my seat all the way up to the point where I can finally see over the steering wheel. So I'm much higher up, but I'm still getting nauseous. Having the windows open is helping me feel a little better. I made it to Camp Rhino. I'm gonna go relax my brain. Let my body relax a little bit. It's definitely something going on inside this car. Just so you guys know a little bit about me, I'm all about improving the quality of my life. I really don't like feeling uncomfortable, um, especially when it comes to my well-being. If I feel nauseous, dizzy, sick, I have headaches or whatever, I do whatever I can to relieve myself from these issues. No one wants to feel off, and when you feel off, you gotta do something about it, and that's me. This is a great way for me to feel better, is to play on the obstacles. It might just be all in my head for all I know. It actually turns out that it's not all in my head, and it's actually the new car smell. Many people love the smell of a brand new car, but the characteristic aroma can actually be a signal that you're inhaling potentially toxic chemicals. Yes, experts estimate that over 60 volatile organic compounds, VOCs, could be present in the car interiors, such as leather and vinyl and carpet can all be sources. I don't want to inhale any of that crap in my body. Higher temperatures speed up the release of VOCs into the air, and I'm in Las Vegas, the hottest place on earth. It's super toxic and it's not healthy for the body at all. So me just driving this thing around and inhaling all the new car smell and the VOCs is just making me not feel good. Like the top of my stomach feels off and it's very unsettling and it makes me want to hurl. So to help myself feel better, I've been wearing a mask over my face while I drive. It makes it look like that I'm still, like I'm scared of COVID or something inside my car, but that's not the case. And then I always keep my windows down when I'm driving. That also helps. And these deodorizer products has definitely reduced the new car smell and I'm now feeling better. So these are the products that I've purchased and I'm actually starting to enjoy this car now. When I have health issues, I do whatever I can to, to not have these health issues anymore. Maybe I'm just sensitive, maybe I'm just sensitive. I'm a little baby. I was just getting nauseous because of the new car smell. So I'm really glad that I found these online products that have helped me reduce the, the toxicity that's in the air and reduce my nausea. I'll, I'll put a link in the description below of these deodorizers that you can put fragrance free. Um, it's like charcoal and it helps reduce this, the smell, the new car smell. Okay, quick update guys. I figured out another problem with this car. The cabin filter was super, super dirty. I mean, this is the dirtiest filter I've ever seen in my entire life and it was so bad. So I took it out and replaced it with a nice clean filter. And now, honestly, I can say that just driving around today, I've been feeling much, much better. If you found this video helpful, guys, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.